just springing this out. But Auckland, the NPC Auckland team, they had a bit of, um, well, I think it's sort of been a bit of a storm in the teacup in a way. But they were in the news recently. It looked like a bit of a player revolt and uh, the, well, it ended with Philo Tia Tia handing in his resignation. So I know we're both Auckland uh, NPC supporters. So have you got anything you wanted to say on that? <clears throat> I think um, I'd like to find out a bit more. I mean, yeah. as things come to light, you know, because I've I've met Philo myself and and also Alama, and you know, I think those guys had a vision. Um, it may have been a Wellington uh, influenced vision because they're both staunch Wellington men and were successful for Wellington backlines back in the oh backline and forward um, packs back in the days. So it'd be interesting to see what was the reason why the player revolt came about and who actually was deep and deeply involved in that revolt in terms of okay boys we're going to go against you know the grain we're going to fight the power we're going to uh, make a stand and it's say it's either him or us um, which never works out in the favor of you know the coach when when there's such a thing and I have experienced that at club level where you know players did a revolt and the coach at the time had no choice. Um, my wow. my old uh, rugby club there. So, um, yeah. you know, I, I've, I feel for the coach that's involved. I feel for Philo. I'm not sure what the details are, but um, I've met the guy. I like him. I liked his vision. I like what he, you know, what he wanted for, for the team, for the club, or well, for the province. Obviously, um, there's some miscommunication or some... Uh, things there that didn't gel and i'd like to see where the misalignment was and the gaps and whether or not you know for for me as a as a, a original aucklander um I'd, I'd like to like to know how my my province um got to such a state because this only brings about the word toxic for me as someone who is looking at it from the outside in i'm thinking shit the, the culture probably has taken a hit. Was there even a culture? You know, that's another question we could ask. So it'll be interesting to find out as things come to light, what what were the reasons for the, the actions that have been taken. So um, I don't have Fiddle on speed dial, but um, it'll be, be interesting to find out from people who know him what their take is. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Well said. I agree with a lot of that. Actually, they were quite vague on the details, so it's hard to know what went on behind the scenes. But two guys that did get named, two players, um, Ofa Ofa Tonga Fasi was one that said that he was thinking of leaving and playing for uh, Counties or Northland, one of those two teams. And Hoskins Hoskins Satutu was the other guy who said that he was considering changing over it. So. It's a bit weird, this player revolt thing and this player power, in my eyes, for just from the outside looking in. But, you know, the coaches aren't there to be your mates if they were hard or whatever. It worked. I, think, I felt. Yeah. You look at the results, like they were, we, we've supported Auckland for long enough to know that there was a period where they were pretty gaya. And then what? You look at the three years that Alamas had, they won a title, they made the semi final, and then they lost the final. Which for Auckland fans, you know, considering the previous sort of decade, you take yeah, that every absolutely. day of the week. So, absolutely, that's a massive success to, for him to come on board and gain the results that he did. He's normalised making the top four again. Hmm. You know, like what more could the the fans of Auckland ask for? Like, come on now, don't forget the last ten years of failure that we've had. <laughs> Of wondering, oh, where's Wayne Pivak? Can he come and save us again? Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, so I was so sort of Wayne, like, well, like, mm. you just want the coach to be a bit more bit more of a mate to you or what? You know, he's there to, to get the best out of you. And from the outside looking in, looking at those results, looks like it was working. So I was just surprised, I guess. I don't know. Obviously, we don't get to see what's happening behind the scenes. But, uh, yeah. It'll be mm. interesting. It'll be interesting to see. Um, those two named players that uh, that you named, Offa and uh, Hoskins, 
what their stories are. I can I can agree a little bit with um, a move for Offer because he's originally from South Auckland. You know, hmm. he's okay. he's a marketing college boy. So I can I can agree with you know the change of province there because he's from County's Manukau area, pretty much. Um, whereas Hoskins, you know, he's from the Marist Rugby Club and. Um, It'll be interesting to see if there was a, a clash of um, mentalities, because him and Philo obviously play the same position, um, and maybe maybe the the old head you know, d didn't agree with the way the the young buck was conducting himself in terms of uh, the position itself. So who knows? It'll be interesting to see what uh, what the reasoning was there for those two particular players as well, and anyone else that might have. Uh, added to that, where's Patrick Tuipulotu these days? He's still around. He's 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 a quiet captain, isn't he? He's not. It doesn't really come out and say much. But um, yeah, that would have been interesting to hear his thoughts. This is the captain of 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 Auckland and and the Blues. So <clears throat> I just hope, like you said, we've had some really strong results the last three seasons with these coaches. I hope this doesn't derail a lot of that stuff because it. Looks like there could be a bit of a clash between what the coaches are trying to do and what the players want to happen. So uh, we'll keep updating it as more information comes through, just for us two both being Auckland fans. But um, yeah, I just got that feeling like, oh no, don't tell me that things are going awry already, just as we look like we've turned a corner. But um, yeah, we'll keep following that up. Yeah, well, that's about us, Joey, mate. We're just about to finish up. So, mate... 